Hi everyone, I'm Priyanka and you're welcome to my channel The Terrace Kitchen. Today we we'll see the recipe of Goli Bajji. It's a type of pakoda. It's very light and airy. It tastes awesome with nariyal ki chutney. If you like this recipe, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe my channel for more such wonderful recipes. Do not forget to leave your suggestions and comments in the comment section below. Now let's take a look at the recipe. We'll first make the coconut chutney. So for that, take half cup fresh coconut in a mixer grinder jar. Now add one tablespoon roasted chana dal, half pinch ginger and one green chili or green chili as per your taste. Some salt to taste. Add some water and make a smooth paste out of it. So if you want, while grinding, you can adjust the amount of water. So adjust the water and salt according to the consistency you need. And one more tip here that uh, once you refrigerate this chutney, it tends to thicken. So keep the consistency accordingly. Now we'll add tempering or tadka to this chutney. So for that, heat around one tablespoon oil and add half teaspoon mustard or rye. Once the rye crackles, switch off the flame and add four five curry leaves. Be careful. Add one broken dried red chilli and add this tempering or tadka on the chutney. Now give it a good mix. So there you go, your delicious white tadka wali coconut chutney is ready. Now moving on to the goli bajji here, I've taken one cup maida or all-purpose flour. To this, I'm adding one fourth cup rice flour or chawal ka atta. Five to six curry leaves. I've broken these leaves using my fingers. One fourth teaspoon hing or asafoetida. Half teaspoon crushed black pepper. One to two crushed green chilies. And one teaspoon crushed ginger. Now here I have one fourth cup grated fresh coconut. You can add pieces of coconut as well, but grated ginger adds a very nice taste. Now give it a good mix. Add some salt to taste. Now add a total one and one fourth cup of curd, and mix this well using your hand. So after you're done adding all the curd, you need to continuously whip it, beat it, uh, using your hand like this for 15 to 20 minutes. After 15 to 20 minutes of beating this mixture, you need to cover this and keep aside for at least two to three hours. This way, the goli bajji will turn out better and very nice. So after this fermentation process, add some chopped fresh coriander, one third teaspoon baking soda. And give this a good mix and you'll notice that the batter tends to rise a little more and mix it only in one direction. Now heat oil to medium flame and drop these bhajis using your fingers. So take a little amount of batter and drop it in the oil. The oil should be at medium flame because if it's too low, these bhajis will not rise well. You'll notice that automatically these turn to get round and get a beautiful round shape. So on medium flame, you need to fry these because the inside should not be raw. So once these turn golden, take these out. And similarly, you need to fry rest of the bhajis. So here I've fried a lot of bhajis and you can see how nice airy these have turned out. Perfectly cooked from the inside. And tasty too. Serve these bhajis with the coconut chutney and enjoy.